going on, guys? Welcome back to Nolan TCG here on a very low angle with Logan. What is this angle? <laughs> exactly. What is this angle? But what did you just do today? Uh, I came back to big events and I topped. I came top eight. Hundred degrees. Oh, I felt like it. I still feel like it. Uh, I top angle. eight. <laughs> <laughs> I came top eight at the extravaganza in Penrith. Uh, it's pretty much our regional at the moment. So you came eight. I came eight, exactly eight. I snuck in the top eight. Like yeah. I'm at such a low angle, and your like massive deck is just still just sticking up in the bottom of frame. <laughs> we are double sleeve twenty five cards. So, yeah. uh, but we played Zodiac going second, um, and so we'll just hop straight in, and then I'll talk about my matches after. So first, do you think it takes a brain to play this deck? No, this is like true Draco again. It's like a very small brain. Uh, we'll Even start with the monsters. Uh, so we'll start with the zoos. So we played three Thoroughblade, uh, three Whiptail, three Ram Ram, one Rat, and one Bunny Blast. Uh, if I was going to change anything, I'd play more of this guy, because uh, or this girl, because there's more Sky Striker around. Um, but you play a larger uh, ratio than what you would have in the past, because you only have one tanky and you have no Rat Barrage to do now. So. Uh, that's probably all you really need to say about this. So, did um did Ram Ram come up a fair bit with the info? Uh, Ram Ram came up against Madolche, uh, when they set the trap, and it came up against Altergeist, but like that Altergeist match was pretty trash, so it didn't really matter. Uh, then we go to the hand traps. Uh, so we played one copy of Vela. Um, this just kind of thought about it. I wanted to play another hand trap, and this is good against Tri Brigade, so that's why this came in. Uh, then we played the best hand trap we could have played, which is three shifter. Uh, any game I saw this and resolved this, I win the game. Uh, against Tri Brigade, it just actually just stole the game. They could not play under this, so it's the best hand trap. It's uh, the best hand trap in the game if you can run it. Yeah, exactly. If your deck can run this, yeah. you have to play it. Uh, three draw. I can't wait for Fandoris. <laughs> I can't wait to play the same amount of normal summons and still statistically not see them. <laughs> exactly. Uh, three draw. It's a turn skip for your opponent if you resolve it. Uh, similar theory to Dimension Shifter, if you see one of these and resolve it, your opponent doesn't get to play that turn, and by that point you can use the get a Zodiac on board, and you've taken over the game. So, we play three draw. Did you play the one gold rest so that you would always draw it? Uh, it just, it, it pains I? me. It pains me. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. And I bet you drew the gold rare more than the other two. I don't think I ever drew the gold rare, actually. Shut up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just looking for one ultra rare, though. Um, then the last hand trap we played out of the monsters is three gamma. Uh, I haven't seen a single Zodiac list play this, um, and with all the hand traps and going second and the power spells you play, uh, it's really strong. And like every time I resolved this in a game, I won the game. There's one game I activated and it got gamut itself, and I lost that game. But like any time you resolve this, I usually just went and won the game. Uh, and then the one driver rounds off our monster lineup. Stops your zoo. <laughs> uh, it stops your zoo from getting targeted by spells. Yeah, it's the opposite of Ram Ram. Ram Ram with spells. Uh, Ram Ram instead of summoning it. Do you not play Cataroost? Hand, right. uh, I don't play Cataroost. I uh, can't give you a reason you why. Like I love Kangaroo. They're so cute. Um, spells? He's yeah, yeah, saving the Cataroost for all the Flunderoos players. It's a Roost off. <laughs> it's not a Cataroo. Uh, for spells, we play similar to Josh's Salad list. We play three copies of Desires. Um, there's a game where I opened all three of these, and it was not good. What were the other two cards you opened? Uh, two Dark Draw. So. Man Spoilers! Should, uh, shuffle this deck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then we played three copies of Tactics. Uh, this is like super strong as well, similar to kind of Droll and any of those. If you can play this and you resolve it, you take the guy or you take a card out of the hand, you're pretty far ahead and you're winning that game. Yeah, three three Tactic is pretty by the book. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's above the book. What's <laughs> uh, <laughs> Then we play uh, three Lightning Storm. Uh, power card. There's a Lightning Storm going on outside, mate. There is. It's Damn. very stormy, unlike. Penrith, where we're 30 degrees and just sunny. Uh, the heat. Yeah. I'm then we play <laughs> two Mystic Mine. Uh, it comes up. It's strong. If you can like interrupt them and then just slap a mine, then you're probably just ahead. Uh, two copies of Dark Ruler, not three. Uh, I kind of dropped to two and then put two of this in because uh, these have like different scenarios where each one is better. Uh, and I did like the variety of being able to like have one of each in my hand because you can go like Dark Ruler activate mine. And you just again like pretty much winning the game. Uh, and then the spice, not really the spice here, but three eagle booster. Uh, and then the spice is one copy of engage and one copy of widow anchor. So most zoo lists will play like two to three of this, not very like different. Uh, but we played the engage because we wanted to have like an extra copy of this. Uh, and because we had the engage in deck, we felt like uh, we could play this 
because the searcher will negate, uh, but also if we draw it, it's not that bad either. So basically you have four ways to protect your Zeus, and you can search and negate uh, on your turn. This deck is so just Zeus, it's not even fun. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever get any like, draws or whatever? Like, uh, I resolved the engage draw twice in the whole event, and there was a third time I could have, but like, I pretty much just scooped before I activated it, if it didn't matter. Uh, then one reborn, the one tanky, and the one duster. Uh, reborn came up once in the event, and I was like super stoked that I put it in. Um, and then harpies is obviously harpies. Uh, the tanky is tanky. Uh, the tanky is kind of weird. I actually think I'd rather just play an extra zoo name because, like, you can play this, and if you get into like multiple turns and you need to draw like a storm or something, then all, like a bunch of your cards become dead because you have tanky on the board. Yeah, and I was, I was thinking that. Sorry? Can't you just send it with Zeus? Uh, if you like do it later, so like if your Zeus doesn't, there's times, there's like twice in the event, I had this on board and like it was a weird game state, and I needed to like lightning storm my opponent to be able to keep like get back in there, and I had this on board so I couldn't. Yeah. Um, so you could probably just like replace this with a Zoo name because it doesn't really matter what Zoo you have. Um, well, I mean sometimes, but like it never really comes up. Uh, last two cards is two imperm. Um, I'd probably drop the Veil to play a third imperm, but. Um, again, like kind of multiple different hand traps in the format where crossout designated exists, kind of is what my thought process was there. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't lose the tactics either. Uh, so that's the main deck. So we'll go to extra deck. Uh, obviously, because we're playing the Cypher and Gammas, we play the one copy uh, of Omega. Uh, then we play our three copies of Zeus, uh, one copy of Drill Driver. Uh, this is for when you go first or like when you're pushing for game. Uh, it came up once where like I would have lost the next turn if I. If the Earth Machine deck had gotten another turn, uh, but because this does piercing, I got exact game on him that turn, so it came up. Drill driver, hell yeah, best <laughs> way to make game is limited removal. Mm -hmm. uh, three Borbo. Uh, obviously, your best zoo, you just play direct, you don't worry about your opponent's board. True Tiger Mortar, this comes up more than any of the others um, because you can like send a Thoroughblade, get a draw, and you put whatever material you need on this. So if you want Ram Ram, I'll just discard the Ram Ram. And put this onto it, uh, so it comes up that way. Uh, then three Chocanine. Uh, never really used its effect to summon back because most of the times I want to keep my board empty for my Eagle Booster or my Widow Anchor. Um, but like it comes up sometimes in weird situations. Uh, and then two Hammer Kong. Honestly, you could probably put this to two and like put this to three, and it's probably the same. Uh, so pretty standard looking extra deck for a Zoo deck. Uh, and then sideboard. We play three copies of Nibiru. Uh, this side in a lot. Uh, and it, you know, it came up a fair few times when I saw it. I think I, when I saw it, I activated it uh, every time. Uh, so it was, it was good enough now. Uh, then we played two copies of Droplets. Uh, kind of the theory behind playing two of this is that there's some matchups where this is better than Dark Roar, and some matchups where Dark Roar is better than this. So it's uh, like a direct swap. It's like a direct swap. If you go first, you swap these for the Dark Rulers because you can set this and like interact with your opponent. Uh, but I didn't want to main it because I felt like I had so many negation cards already and I wanted to find room for actual like hand trap, hand trap, like droll. So I put those into the sideboard. Uh, power spells, one defigure, one imperial auto, uh, and one macro. Uh, these are good. They're like, they're turn skips for your opponent, right? Um, but because they're on the field, your Zeus becomes kind of weird. So like there was a game where I had imperial auto on board and I didn't want to Zeus because I didn't want to get rid of this and let my opponent use all their spells. So you kind of have to wait for your opponent to like out these themselves and then use Zeus, but there's times where you have to like get rid of it. It's the same scenario with the three anti spells we play. Like it turn skips uh, certain decks, uh, but yeah, I didn't see any of these when I played Striker, uh, and so I didn't get to go very well there. Uh, so then the last four cards is two copies of Dimensional uh, Barrier, uh, and then two copies of Solemn Strike. Uh, I played this. I played this over Artifact Scythe because I was wanting to play. Uh, better matchup against Drytron because uh, you can call. Most interesting thing I've seen in this entire list. Thanks, mate. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah, so this like this plays into Drytron. Like you can call Ritual and stop them that way. And even if they got the Herald on board, you can like do this to force the negate. Uh, and if they can't negate this, then you can turn it off. Um, so in that regard, it's good. But again, the counter today is it's not that great against Tribe Brigade because they just make links. So in certain scenarios, you wanted Artifact Scythe, uh, and in certain scenarios, you want this. Uh, strike is strike. It, it's kind of weird. I don't think I ever activated it. Um, I also don't think I ever activated this in the event. Um, I think my side deck, in, in looking back, 
uh, was probably a bit too like made for the meta um, because Australian Yu Gi Oh for some dumb reason is fifty percent meta, fifty percent like weird rogue garbage. Weird rogue trap decks essentially like stun. Yeah, like I like my match I was like we well, were playing like this. I played three rogue decks pretty much um, out of the six rounds, and it was just like very weird. My sideboard for them was not optimal. Uh, so yeah, so that was the list. Uh, round one, Striker lost uh, to Poe. Uh, round two was Medolce, um, and where he just made his best board, and I just went Mystic Mind, Make Zeus, blow it all up both games. And um, game th uh, round three, I versed Earth Machine, where again Drill Driver came up clutch, and I won that 2-0. Uh, round four was Altergeist, uh, and again as you see, like. This doesn't have too much for Altergeist, and so game one he opened Imperial Order against my hand of four spells, so not really doing much there. Was Earth Machine the forehead kid? No. No. Oh, okay. No. Um, so that was round four, so I lost that. Uh, round five was Tri Brigade, and round six was Drytron, and we won both of those. Uh, so we ended up being 4 2, uh, and we snuck into eighth place. Cool, cool, cool. Any uh, shout outs before we go? Yeah, shout outs. Huge shout out to Sebastian. It's uh, the zoo core is his, so huge shout out to him. Uh, shout out to Ben for testing. Obviously, we spent like a bit of time testing this list. Uh, shout out to all the boys that came up, uh, and just all the boys at locals who uh, helped me with cards and theory crafting around the event. And Luke on the lounge for the hospitality of letting us film the Griffo. Look, Great. I don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh, but that explanation was pretty good. I feel like I know what I was doing. <laughs> really? Because I know a bit about Yu-Gi-Oh and I feel stupid now. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, for good context of us having the lightning storm, it's a bunch of lightning strikes. This went off behind your head to, oh, yeah. to ram that all together. But yeah, as always, I've been Ben from All on TCG, here with Logan. Have a good afternoon, everybody.